I'm really a very physically active person and I, I don't sit down very often. June Eichbush is 78 years old, but you wouldn't know it. My day is probably, I probably spend nine tenths of my day on my feet. Part of what drives her to stay active is her husband's health history. My husband uh, is a stroke victim, so I have to take care of him. He's a full-time patient, so to speak. That's why June panicked one night after realizing a power outage shut off her sleep apnea machine. What happened was is it appears that when the electricity went off and the CPAP went off, it triggered this this thing in my carotid artery. Blackouts and dizzy spells caused her to go to the hospital. She was eventually referred to Dr. Mazin Fote, a board certified vascular surgeon. He was absolutely terrific and I said to him, I am the caretaker of an 84 year old husband who's had multiple strokes. I can't leave the hospital like this. Dr. Fote suggested June undergo a relatively new procedure called TCAR or transcarotid artery revascularization. So she had to get back to her daily life very quickly. This operation allows for that because it's such a small incision, it's minimally invasive. The procedure is designed to help prevent a stroke once doctors pinpoint an alarming blockage in the body. No procedure absolutely 100% prevents a stroke down the road, but it decreases the overall incidence of a future stroke significantly. June was discharged from the hospital just one day after surgery. I'm great. I haven't had any more of those kinds of episodes. That's how I've managed to survive all these years is listening to what my body has to say to it. In Austin, I'm Dr. Nicole Cross, Spectrum News.